It finally sold, and guess what? It was a big money bolo. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. I'm going to share with you some of my big money bolos that I sold on eBay, but I'm going to do it a little bit, do something a little bit different in this video. Um, I'm going to show you some footage from a past video of an item I sold. I purchased it at the Goodwill Bins that it would either sell fast or it was going to be long tail. Well, it happened to be long tail, but I sold it for a hundred dollars. Woo. So I'm super excited about that. So let's watch some of that footage first. And then I will show you my eBay listing. Oh, did not mean to do that. Great footage coming soon. These are McDonald's plates. Now these are two of my solds from a past um, past sales on Mercari and they are Hercules McDonald's plates. If you guys do not know about those, they are definitely a bolo. Here it is, you guys. <laughs> what do you think? I was like, should I get this? Will I get this? I'm going to definitely get this. So this rode around in my cart <laughs> and everybody was probably like, why is she getting that? but I love it. I think it's going to sell. I think it's a fun, unique item. It is called um, Footstool Unlimited is what it says on the bottom. A footstool with a personality. And I was only able to find one comparable on it and it was on Worth Point and I'm not sure if it was the same brand. So I will pop that up could not find anything on eBay. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, if I'm typing in the wrong keywords or what, but nothing. And I would think that an item like that would be easy to find. So it must not have been mass produced. There must not have been a lot of them made. The cool thing is you can put whatever socks and shoes on that that you want. So I'm gonna do a 10 day auction on that and just see if it gets some bids. I am gonna start it at what I would like to at least get out of it. Um, if it goes higher, great. If not, um, I'll be happy with that sale price. If it does not sell, I will relist it at a buy it now price or best offer. Now, it did have um, the foam on the top was showing. It does need um, a cover. Somebody needs to refinish the top of it, which is no big deal. Some people might want to do that themselves anyway. But the condition overall was pretty, pretty great. Not sure the age on it, but pretty sure it's vintage. That was my weirdest find. Now, like I said, I go next door to the thrift store and I come back and that is when I find a whole bin of stuff that everybody has already gone through. Everybody left it behind. Nobody's digging in this bin and I am scooping up the treasures. So that will be coming here shortly. Okay, so here is the footstool. Uh, it did not sell on auction, obviously, and I ended up relisting that for $162.50 plus shipping, and somebody made me an offer of $100 because it needed uh, the, a new cover on the top or however you fix that. I'm not sure what that's actually called. And they offered me a hundred. So I went ahead and took it. My cost of goods was $5 because it was considered a heavy item. So they worked with me on the price. They probably thought, yes, you can have it for $5. Get it out of here. It did take a long time to sell. I listed that April 6th of 2022. So over a year to sell. But, you know, this is something that you have to have the right buyer for. And I just boxed it when I packed it or when I listed it, it was ready to go when the person bought it. Could I have priced it lower and sold it quicker? Probably most definitely. But I felt like it was a unique, cool item and I was willing to wait on the right buyer. All right. The next item I sold is this silver plate flatware. I picked this up, I think just like at miscellaneous garage sales, or maybe my husband gave this to me. I can't recall. I didn't have much in it. So I ended up selling this for
I ended up selling this for a best offer of $37.20 plus shipping. The next item here is this Bath and Body Works soap. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar each. It is refill, uh, foaming hand soap. A lot of times these are discontinued. I'm not really sure, but I couldn't find a whole lot of comps on this. So I priced it high at $62 and took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. The next item, I sold this for a best offer of $90 plus shipping. It's a vintage 14 karat gold, one in a million charm or pendant by Michael Anthony, MA signed. It was really easy, easy for me to find comparables for this. And I priced it on the high end and it sold really fast. This is a vintage suit. Oh my goodness. This is a vintage Sunbonnet Sioux Girl and Farmer Wedding Ring Pattern Fabric. And I got this at um, a clean out from an estate. And I sold it for $46.50 plus shipping. And the buyer was all in for $58.52. have the next one. And it's, I think, a bolo also. But this one is a little bit confusing because there's high solds and there's low solds. And we're gonna talk about that. But first, I wanna show you this little cutie. Oh, any cutie's a frog. Now, have you guys seen my jelly cat video? There is a jelly cat frog that goes for like $800. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go watch it. Um, just search Bolo Buddies jelly cat and it will pull right up. There is also another one I think called Fergus the frog that does pretty well. This is neither of those. This is just a plush frog. Now, it is by, hold on, Animal Adventure, and it is from 2014. So this is a retired, discontinued plush. I believe he's probably 18 inches. He's pretty big. Um, he is really, really cute. I mean, just look at that smile. He just makes you want to smile, right? I mean, look at him. Just look at him. Okay, so this is going to be available on my eBay store, but here's the deal. I want to take you over to eBay, and I want to show you some solds because, again, I went to high solds, and I have not looked up to verify any of them. We're going to do a little bit of that and see if we can make maybe verify something. I don't know if this is a big money bolo or if this is a bread and butter, but we're gonna research it together right now. I'm gonna show you how, okay? Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm over on eBay and I put in Animal Adventure Frog. Okay, so in that video, I talked to you guys about how to research solds and how to price your items. You guys can check that out. I'll link it down below. But I ended up selling this for $77.50 plus shipping. That is what the conclusion was from my research that I came to and you guys can watch that video to see how I came up with that price. This did end up selling to a viewer. So thank you so much to Pinky's secondhand store. This is her eBay store. Definitely go and check her out. Um, you can follow eBay stores by clicking on the heart and that'll let you know when they post new items and it will send you coupon alerts. So go and follow her. She is a great support of the channel and she has great things for sale. Okay, got another one for you. I buy items and I sell them on eBay and other platforms to flip for a profit. Check out what I sold. All right, here's a bolo you might not know about. I picked these up a long time ago, so they have been long tail, but I probably picked up 40, maybe 50 of these, and they have just been selling over time. I just sold five to one buyer for a total of $64.13 with free shipping. I will cover the shipping. I will ship them priority mail because they do have advertisements in them. And what's really cool, I still have these left. And as I was pulling the other order, I got a whole bunch more cha-chings and I sold six more to the same person for over $70. I'll pop up a screenshot of what the total was. And again, I will cover the shipping on these. So just a nice little bolo. These are items you can pick up cheap at garage sales and thrift stores, estate sales. So definitely be on the lookout. All right, so that was an awesome sale. It did take a long time to sell. I've been selling those magazines over the last, I don't know, two or three years. Uh, but yeah, that person wanted a bunch, so pretty cool. Now, this is a vintage 1999 Pokemon. I thought that the two of these were gonna sell super fast. Well, they did not. Um, they took a long time to sell, but the right buyer finally came along 
and I got $40 each for these. I picked these up at a garage sale for $2 each. So four bucks into $80, I will take that all day long. All right, so this video was a little bit different. I had some footage from other videos of the things that I sold. So I thought I would just share those and then kind of, kind of incorporate them into the video to chop it up a little bit. Go check out that Goodwill Bins video. I have tons of Goodwill Bins videos if you guys like to watch me dig. I do pop up educational information throughout them. So it's not just me digging. I try to keep everything educational on the channel. Thank you so much for being here. What do you think about those solds? Are you a long tail patient reseller or do you like to only buy things that have a really fast sell through rate? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for being here and check out another video. There's going to be a video popping up here and here, one down below. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and thanks for watching. It was super, uh-oh. my internet lights on. So I'm probably like pixelated and like, la, 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 la. so let's give it a second. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, it went off. Okay, we can continue. All right, so I'm gonna show you some Goodwill Bins footage. This is probably something that most of you would not pick up. It was really big. I knew 